Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what's going on? We are playing a very interesting deck today, submitted by Mediocre Magic Man. Um, we have two Aether Gust, two Thassa's Oracle, two Noxus Grasp, four Mystical Dispute, three Leyland on the board, and two Ritual of Soot in the sideboard. And now I want to look at the main deck. Look at these new lands. These are the unsanctioned lands. Um, I picked them up because I was like, those look pretty sweet. So we have a basic Sultai uh, sideboard. Actually, this is just a Sultai deck. We went from Grixis to four color to Sultai. We do have Kroxa, but we're not really casting the Kroxa by any means. We have no... We don't even have a single mountain in the deck to get with Fable Passage, which we might want. Um, so we have one Thassa's Oracle. Which I imagine we're trying to mill ourselves just to hit this guy. We have two, three Mire Triton. Mills two. Lazav can become a copy of any of these creatures. Croxa we just want to get in the graveyard. Glowspore Shaman we want to use to put the Croxa in the graveyard. The Binding of the Titans. Each player puts top three cards of the library into the graveyard. We're self-milling here, guys. Exile up to two creatures from your gra from graveyards. For each creature, you gain a life, and then you return a creature or a land from your graveyard to your hand. So, I assume we're going to get back Thassa's Oracle at some point with this thing. Two Tyrant Scorn, four Finale of Devastation. Uh, again, a way to search for anything you really need. Also, we can Finale four Croxa for four mana. So, that's pretty sweet. Uh, four Murderous Rider, four Euro, and two Thirst up for Meaning. There are 26 lands in the deck, which seems like a lot when you have only a top end of three. So we'll see how that works out for us. But right before we started, in the chat, someone said, what's your favorite dinosaur? And um, <clears throat> I was going to say, I said if if sea dinosaurs were an option, I would say the Megalodon, right? But I don't know if they are. So like, if we're going land dinosaurs, and then someone made fun of it, and <laughs> someone someone made a, a Dwight Schrute quote... <laughs> about the about the triceratops and uh that was sad because i think i think it's a tie between triceratops and stegosaurus and i think the reason as a kid that i always liked those two was because it seemed like they were the same dinosaur but they had different modifiers right they had different upgrades like if you take the same base dinosaur like this this weird body with a kind of like a humpback and i'm like okay cool one of them opted for the armor upgrade and got and got like plating, and the other opted for the the uh, the offensive upgrade, the weapon upgrade, and got horns. And it's like it's the same. And it, it, it they as dinosaurs, these two appealed to my like uh, my gaming sensibility, and uh, they they just always seem like they were like the same dinosaur with different modifiers on them. The one that spit in Newman's face in Jurassic Park was a Dilophosaurus. And we're going to try out this deck, and I don't know what to expect. Or we're going to have to change. Traditional, standard, ranked. Let's do it. We're going to rank. I like your theory. You should replace all paleontologists. I'm working on it. What do you think the stream is uh, a vehicle for, man? We we got goals, man. First, Magic the Gathering streaming on Twitch.tv, then paleontologists. It's a it's a process. Um, this hand seems great. Uh, yeah, we're gonna keep that. You mean Jesus horses? Oh, I do actually. Oh, this is... I feel like they're being very rude right now. Um, hmm. What are the odds they're gonna gain more life next turn and uh, outclass our Glowspore Shaman? The odds are high enough that I just want to play this guy, I think. Oh, Finale and Lazav. Interesting. Oh, there's... Oh, this is... Okay, that's... Okay, that's obnoxious. Boy, we're gonna have to kill that. I guess we're gonna take... Oh, biscuits. Yeah, Hushbringer's rough. That's our whole deck. I mean, I don't know if this deck has any, like, uh... 
God's Willing type cards. So. Does the Brachiosaurus get the Vision Alert upgrade? Uh, probably. I mean... Okay, we'll see they're just being rude now. Oh no. It's all happening. Hmm. I think we just need to find like a... Oh, biscuits. I mean, we're definitely going to put this on top. Because we do want a fourth land, and then we can go Lazav into, like, Kroxa. I think we're a little... I think we're a little behind here. I'm definitely blocking here. I don't really want to go to seven. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to play Lazav and then activate for two. Let's get another Swamp. Swamp seems to be pretty, uh... Oh, that's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. Actually, maybe we just want to play this next turn. Yeah, I think that's fine on top. Is only sorcery? Yeah, okay, just making sure. I was like, I don't want to be like, use this only as a sorcery, and I'm like, oh god. Sure. Well, this guy's now 7-7, seven, seven, so that's unfortunate. I'm... I'm vomiting. No, don't like this. I'm gonna go to the next game. Yeah. That was close, though. That felt close. Did not feel close there. Let's bring in Ritual of Soot. Uh, no. Noxious Grasp also seems very, very good. Well, I'll take out one binding, one finale, one glow spore, actually two finales. I don't think we're going to have the luxury of using finales that efficiently. Take out Oracle? Alright. I trust you. Well, we engineer we engineer them that way. Uh, yeah, that seems fine. So blue green. I don't think we need a fifth land at this particular juncture. Man, this guy every game, huh? Glow Sport Shaman do its, do its job. I'm going to decline. We have three more lands in hand. We can Uro play two lands next turn. Hmm. Maybe that's the play. Actually, what do we got in here? Three cards? Huh. We could actually play Thirst, discard Euro on another card, that would put us to six, then we can actually just play Euro next turn. I don't think that's better than just taking our time, though. So this is three, this would be four.
Yeah, this seems like the best option. Um, oh, well, this does go in the... Okay, well, it goes, it'll go in the graveyard next turn, too, while that'll let me let it untap. Yeah, I'll keep that on top. So next turn, we'll have five cards in the graveyard, one of which will be... Burrow, unfortunately. Well, that's that's pretty unbeatable. Mm -hmm. I could just attack this guy, right? Because he's a planes. Well, oh no, wait! It's a god that you can't really interact with in any way, shape, or form. Those are always pleasant. I have a good time. All right, so we need black, black. I guess it doesn't. We have three black, three green, two blue. An island. All right, well, you have a Croxa. Yeah, I figured that guy was coming down. play Euro. Eight cards? Yeah, that should be fine. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's put you on the bottom. Let's just follow this real quick. All right. Um. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. All right. No attacks. Yeah. I think. I mean. I think you still have the. Uh, I think you can definitely get down to twenty-five. Twenty-five lands is still enough. A pure soul can inspire. I also don't love Glow Spore Shaman. I just don't feel like it does enough on, like, on the board. This is so much going on right now. I like that you'd use two. You'd use two blue sources, and leave us unable to actually cast the Croxa. That's pretty cool. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We can actually finale. Oh, well, finale for Croxa doesn't actually put it into play, though, does it? That's unfortunate. Um, two, three, four, five. I think we just. Oh, can we not? We know that we have four. Nah. What can we get for three? Hmm. Let's get Murderous Rider and just play it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We're actually dead on board, unfortunately. We could just play Murderous Rider and Glow Spore Shaman. I think that's our only option, really. If we had one more land, we could actually play uh, this guy. And then... Uh, I'm going to decline. I don't think we need any more lands at this point. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have eight mana. That's a lot.
thank you. Don't fake the funk on a nasty dunk. I would never do that. I'm just going to block the biggest guys here. I thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. I have no idea how to, how to what to say there other than I. Yeah, they're at 29 and every one of their guys gets humongous. I, I don't I don't actually... Short of drawing a ritual of soot here, I, I feel like we're... Well, friendship is the best cure. Well. I guess we just have to kill the Ajani. I, I mean, we could kill this and then attack the Ajani, but then they just block, so we probably just want to play it safe and kill this Ajani before they ultimate it next turn. Barcode. Let's, let's play this. Uh, what do we have? One, two. The island's gone. We're going to crack this now, see if there's anything left. I don't know if there is. Oh, yeah. We're good. Okay. Yeah, use those. Use those. That's fine. Oh, good. We left ourselves... Oh, we left ourselves with a blue. Um, Discard two cards. I like Noxious Grasp in hand. Finale is probably just better than both of the Meyer Tritons, right? What do we have left? One, two, three. I do wish we had one more mana so we could actually finale here. Um, I think the finales at this at this rate are just better. Oh my god, Costco sounds like a madhouse, man. You gonna give both these guys lifelink? Nifty Chris, what's going on, my dude? The niftiest of Chris's. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to Noxious, Noxious Grasp this one. Sure. Um, What can we get back? Just Mostly just Croxa, right? And they have one card in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're so close. <laughs> oh, biscuits. Um. Oh, like God, why does it do that? I pull it back and it still does it. Like I didn't want the I didn't. I wanted to play Fable Passage first so I can. So when I scry, like I'm actually gonna be able to keep the card on top. Oh God, it's annoying. Um, well, our deck's got three, so I might as well just, like, auto-pay for three. And then see what we can hit. Oh, let's get a Lazav and then just make it a a Croxa. That seems good, right? Yeah, all right. So we get to Scry anyway. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. But I'm just cracking this now so we can have the land in play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One more land, and this gets to be real sweet. 
Mystery Booster is too good of a value, but no one can get together and draft it. That's that's, that's actually kind of funny. That's black or red. Do I have any not? I have no non-black creatures. That's annoying. I actually should have played Murderous Rider too, right? Yeah, I should have played Murderous Rider. There's a lot going on. So they're at 25. Can we kill them right now? This is 16. I'm pretty sure we can, right? I mean, we probably just want to get, like, Murderous Rider, right? Foil sends triplets is going to hit hard. Uh, you mean like it's going to be, you mean it's going to like tank the other one or it's going to be really high? Yeah, that seems fine. Foil Alara sends triple at 70. Foil Mystery Booster sends triple at 30. I'm going to bottom that for now. There's definitely, there's definitely a, a lot of products. Hundred percent blocking a Johnny's pride mate. Sure. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I just want this. Yeah, that seems fine. Get to block one of these guys, kill the other one. Sure. Like, I will easily block either one of these guys. I gotta, I gotta have me a second black. Oh, life is hard. Life is hard. Clicking the wrong one. Well, we're gonna have to kill that guy, I guess. True friends always stand by your side. Come on, black source. <laughs> That'll do. I think that guy's actually fine here.
And we gained one life. Get out of here. play a murderous rider here at some point because if we actually you know they're gonna make a guy too great did it's did it turn the audio off and it's not in play audio and minimize that's weird then when i click off of it the audio goes away Oh, that's what we're hoping for. So now we can play Meyer Triton and keep up. Hunter, shut up! God! It's just like... Oh, good. A Heliod. Almost the perfect card you needed right now. This is amazing. Yep. I am having a good time. Guess we're taking three here. Can I mute this? It's it's actually a sub, somewhat annoying. <laughs> Just the whole game. Come on, man. Or Daxos, another creature. Okay, good. Yeah, it's another situation where I just want to kill this now because otherwise they get to do some shenanigans. Like, in response, they can make a guy next turn and then pump another dude because of the life. Ugh. No, we're not attacking. I feel like we've been had a ton of answers this game. Another deck. Seems good. Oh, we're clicking it. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, No, leave it on top. It's three life. Not sure if that's going to be good enough, but... One, two. I think these matches have been close, but not close enough. Well, definitely blocking here. I'll give my Daxos lifelink. This Heliod's really obnoxious. Seems good. So blue, 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 blue. Okay, that's definitely plenty. I'm actually going to pay two here because then we can play both Euro and Murderous Rider. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Probably. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we have other Meyer Tritons. Oh my god, come on. Three Croxes. Good lord. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Um. This actually doesn't even do anything, right? Like, because then they just make a guy, and the guy triggers this, and then they make this a sixth. Uh, seven nine. <sighs> it's actually surprisingly obnoxious. 
I don't even maybe they didn't maybe they wouldn't have even seen that actually. Well, we're at 12 again. If we can top deck, <laughs> if we can top deck a finale, it's pretty neat. Yeah, we, uh, we keep doing this in the wrong order, but I don't think it's actually super relevant. Hunter, stop! One, two, three. Oh, interesting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, wow. Interesting. I don't think we're going to win from this, but... Yep. And there's your boy, Heliod. Was it 6, 12, 13, 15, 15? Ritual of Soot would be bomb. I can't afford to block here, I don't think. I think I just have to go to three. Like if we... Tyrant scorn. Still 12 again. Croxa cannot escape. I mean, we can gain a lot of life with, uh, Murder Shrider. So it's a 10, 12, 16, 15. So to go back to 18, 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, we'd be dead though. Yeah, like our only option is really just attack and try to hit a, a Ritual of Soot. Murderous Rider is not Ritual of Soot, but it might keep us alive, maybe? What's that smell? I put some lotion on my hands earlier. Hmm. Is it a lotion you smell? Maybe. Is it this? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good smell. Oh, Mike B smelling good. My neighbor was like, hey man, I got hand lotion. You need it? And I was like, oh, sure. I do need hand lotion because I'm My hands be dry. Where did Amuchal come from? I came from work, Thwok. Where does Amuchal ever come from? You know what I mean? Like... Oh, this is rough because we lose our stupid murderous rider. We should have played Tyrant Scorn first. See, this is kind of, this is kind of misplay that costs you games. Um, we resolve that. Hmm, that's frustrating. Oh, see, that's that's gonna cost us. If we had a blocker here, that'd be great. I think we just still have to kill this guy. 
And then maybe even just get... Oh, we're supposed to kill that healer's hawk. Yeah, no, we messed up. Yeah, we done for. Unfortunately. Um... Yes. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna keep making your euros. Unfortunately, ritual of soot also kills euro. That's interesting. Choose this one. Go to nine. Sure. Enter tapped. I put some lotion on my hands. My name is Michael. It's okay, guys. They're only at 43. We got this. If you this. killed the hawk, you actually lived, right? Well, I'm still going to live. <clears throat> what are you at? Where's the life total on this thing? Oh, nine. Right there. Got it. Amateur hour. He's at 43? Oh, boy. You got some work to do, boy. No way, man. I got this. I'll give my two, three creatures lifelink. Do you see all the lifelink that my creatures have? <sighs> Michael, don't touch your face. I, I, it's impossible. Michael, don't touch it. It's impossible. <coughs> Michael, don't cough. Touch, don't touch your face. Or don't, don't, don't. Michael, stop. <laughs> Why is this setting? Why is it turning the audio off when I leave the... Michael, touch my face. Well, Chris, you're kind of far away. I don't think I can reach. Michael, touch it anyway. Hmm. Okay, we are at a... I think we're at a point where if we actually just finale for like 13 and get a murderous rider, like I think we're healthy enough. <coughs> I used to be a lot further. That's true. Yours I do like one closer. Masker Girl in the deck. That actually seems great because it doesn't kill a ton of our creatures. And you can go get it with right, Finale Devastation, too. Right, right, right. 1, 2, 3, 15. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Thank you. Yeah, we're just auto-paying here, my dudes. Is this the biggest lifelinker we have? Yeah. So we go to 14, they have 6, 7, 12, 13. Oh, no, we got to, we gain more here because of this guy. This is a crazy deck, man. It's wild, bro. We're wiling out. Oh, we're still alive. <laughs> Just draw a million of those finale devastations and you'll win. Okay, that's actually pretty decent. Kill the hawk. Oh, he's got two floaters. Zav is interesting. Go to nine. Are we coming back? Are we making the comeback of the century? Should we try it? Oh, we can. Oh, we can play another Euro, but it's not going to do anything because of this. Oh man, we are living it up, dude. Yeah, without Daxos on board, making a one-one every turn doesn't even do much because. They don't gain the life from it. Money, 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 job and doll. Skibbity bops and zibbity doos. Michael B. living in the trash can every day. He's a trash man. So is this, this his name stays Lazav, right? So I can make a, a different, I can make a Euro instead of a, instead of a Croxa. Doesn't Hushbringer ruin that? What? No, it doesn't no. come into play, Michael. Oh, Why okay. is he like this? Oh, Euros is three. Whatever, I'll make a Croxa for now. Um, Croxa shit. What if I could cancel? Oh, yeah, alright, cool. So many euros. My turn. 
Oh shit, we got oh we got finale boy. Oh that we're fucked. This game just ended, my dudes. Woo! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, still thirteen, huh? Auto pay it, my dudes. I'm gonna get a murderous rider again if we got one. <laughs> Let me do it. Come on. He's got blockers. Not enough, but he's got blockers. He can he can believe in himself. I don't think he's blocking. Oh, he's blocking. How much are we gaining here? We're gaining like 39 life? Yeah, it's a lot. He can block 17, 17. I can gain another one. And he has enough blocks not to die. I mean, he's in real bad shape, but, you know. I'm sure he'll be fine. Letting one through, huh? No, they're letting 30 through. Wait, did they not? Okay. Well, it's okay. We're only at 51 now, guys. That's going to do it. I think you're done for. Nailed it. Nailed it. Well, it does put the Heliot alive. But, uh, what is it, 6, 12, 15? Alright, I believe in you. I don't actually think we have any more basics left. I mean, this is, I mean, they're getting a lot of life here. But we are going to kill this. I guess we don't have to. That's funny. It kills all of our things. Return a creature or a land from your graveyard to your hand. Eh, sure. Well, see you later. Feels like an EDH game. Kind of does. Hmm. It's like a bunch of big monsters. We have 14 cards in our deck. Be careful now. <laughs> careful now. I might just want the Croxa instead here. I think we're good on life. So now they take an extra three instead of us gaining three, which is fine. Oh, all right. All right, now. Y'all be careful now. Like, I just feel like we're so far ahead that, like... You don't really need to do anything. God, if we could just play another Croxa and trigger it. That's all we need to do. The problem, my problem with Ritual of Soot and, and Uro is that they can block it forever with uh, with this. So I kind of feel like we have the board advantage. I really feel like we should have just a way to, a cast, to cast this guy. Oh, you have no way to cast it? No. Oh, like it's not, oh, I get it. Yeah, you don't have the colors in your deck. Gotcha, gotcha. The money, money, money. Has to Michael B lives in the garbage can. Oh my god, they're still coming at us, huh? Oh, Kerbit's here. You notice. Where? Is that a barcode that's sub to your chat? It is. It is. Um. Yeah, alright. I mean, I'm tempted to play this, but I don't know what we can even get. How many finales do we have left? There's none there. And only two here. So, like, we still have two? Oh, yeah, we're going to try to... We're, we're going for that finale, boy. Show me a finale. Oh, they showed me one. Let's get rid of Croxa and this, this thing. Oh, boy. Let's go to my turn. Oh, I'm going to pay two. What do we got? One, two, three. I don't know if we have another land here, but it doesn't do anything on the board. So, if we do... Nope. 
All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen now. There's like no creatures to. F oh, we can just get them from the graveyard. Oh, come on, man. Let me do the negative 400 million. Three finales for plus 10. That's where you want to be. Dang. Let me see this construction of this bad boy. No. I'm, we're going to stop the stream here. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe button. Okay, I'll show you. Oh, man. That was good stuff. Yeah, one fast Zorko. Oh, so you can get cheeky and maybe win a few million. Maybe. Too? Yeah, it seems it seems ambitious. Uh Meyer Titron. Meyer Titron. He drop. He mills you two, right? He mills you two, you gain a life. <laughs> Meyer Titron. Yeah, uh yeah, he mills you two, you gain two life, and it's got death touch. Okay, and Lazav can make copies of things in graveyards, and he mills you, you got the glow part shaman. Glow part shaman? Glow spark. Four shaman. Oh my god, what are you doing here? And even more embarrassing is that's in one of my commander decks. <laughs> I still mispronounce Like, I know the card. Yeah. Um, okay, so we had what? We had 6-6, six, six, a 2-3, two, a 2-3, oh a 2-3, and another 6-6, six, six, right? And they're all getting plus 12, right? So is 12 times... I had more. No, we did it for... Tw uh, no, we had 14 mana, so we did it for 12. No, I mean creatures. No, we only had the 5. Okay. We had a Euro, 3 Murderous, and a Croxa. All right, so 12 times 5 would be 60, so we're adding 60 damage. So 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 18, so it would be 78. That seems good. Oh, no, and we got another one. We would have got another creature out of the deck. Right. Uh, so that would be another 12, so it's 90, plus the base of whatever the creature was. Probably just going to be a uh, murderous, another murderous rider, I guess. Or a glow spore shaman. So 92 to 93 damage. Plus the Croxa trigger, so 96 damage. Hmm. They could block some of it. But not enough. We were still swinging with 93 damage. Right, so you got the Binding of the Titans, which I don't remember what that does. It's a whole bunch of nonsense. You mill, mill three, three. And then... Then you can potentially gain two life from them. And then you return creature or land from your graveyard to your hand. Okay. So it's like a mill thing. A creature or land from your graveyard to your hand. It's a... Got that and that. Got to know those ones. Got that one. Got those this, ones. This, this, and this. Okay. All right. So we have 26 lands, I believe. Yeah, that's a lot. Because, like, the top of our curve is three mana. I'm surprised you don't have any ramp in this deck. We do. It's called Euro. Oh, yeah. I and mean, there's no real good ramp in standard. Like, the only other option is really, like, growth spiral. I'm going to take out one breeding pool. I'm going to take out one breeding pool, one temple for one more watery grave. We're also going to add the, the Massacre Girl. Because I think that's a good, I think that's a good addition. A good one of. What do you cut for it though? We a, a land. Oh, you cut a land. Okay. Uh, I think twenty five is actually fine. I do like more thirst. I I don't think you want four crocs. Like I just feel like there's so many times where it's just you stuck in your hand. Three. But like the problem is like, you can't actually put double red in the deck because your odds of hitting double red is much 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 harder. Yeah. So you're kind of just trying to get it out of your hand. But, like, one mountain just for a Fabled Passage to get, or even, like, um, to get back with the Binding if it's in the graveyard, something like that. I think one mountain is really not too out of the question. Where are them good lands? Why is it so far down? See that good land? See that good, good land? I maybe cut one of those. Because in the late game, it just gives you a good way to, to put this guy in your... In your in your play, <laughs> put it in your play. You know how you know how it goes. Uh, the deck may need more basics. Any because I'm always fall. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's why <clears> we <throat> cut we cut one fabled now, and now we have five basics, which should be a much better configuration. Um, I could see cutting one Croxa. Yeah, I don't know if you need four. I don't need. I don't even know if you need him in general because like even just copying Euro with Lazav is just really good. You can play one more thirst. I do like one more thirst actually. Yeah, one more thirst seems great. The problem with thirst is that we don't have a lot of enchantments. Still fine. Like, so like starting it, things is okay for you though. You yeah, especially if we got back. Crocs. So. Just like I hit my friend with a thirteen two kill and fiend and a five six switch. What's that? That's eighteen damage, Mark. Come on, get on my level, Mark. Not a fan of the Theros full arts. Way too bedazzled for me. I, I actually I like them a lot. I, I can see that, but I also I do personally like them. But I can appreciate why you don't. And also, like, these are nice, though. I like these a lot. 
Yeah, those are pretty cool. Those are the unsanctioned ones. Uh, Ao Paquette, Adam Paquette. Good job, Adam. <laughs> Adam Paquette, if you're watching, good job. Michael Michael B says, good job. I approve. Are Mike... those lines available in real life? Yeah, those are the unsanctioned ones. Oh, okay. I just we just said I literally just said that. Wasn't there another unset that's coming out with other full arts? Fuck if I know, man. Chris there's Chris said sets. that earlier. He's like, hey, it's only March, and there's been like seven sets that have come out so far. Yeah, it's or thirteen nuts. or something. Also, apparently, uh, Akora. Apparently, they're releasing Korea. Commander Commander Twenty Twenty on the same time. Yeah, it's. <clears throat> I don't understand. Let's I'll keep crazy. this hand. So we're definitely gonna get a green. How rude! Oh my god, I was literally gonna say Masker Girl could be good in this matchup, and then we draw Masker Girl, and I'm like, oh baby. So fatal passage. They come into play tapped unless you control four lands. Basically. Yeah. It's pretty good. So Bessali. It's like the good uh Morphe experience. Yeah. Oh, that was turn three? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, you know, I guess that's pretty good. He's uh... got first strike? Dang. First strike's a beating. Um I do want a second black, and then we can play Meyer and play this next turn. So that's fine, I guess. And it's the second green for our... Oh, Jesus. No blocks, I guess. God, and they're just pumping each other. Like a bunch of nerds. Pump bros. Gain two life, they're basically dead. I don't know how they win now. Mm, you're a little bit much. No attacks. Might have to play Oracle for value here. Yeah, Game well, if I get a second blue, yeah, I'll be good to go. <clears throat> yep, gonna block here. I guess take four. It's fine. Oh, here comes Embercleave, so fuck my life. That card's in absurd. I'm having fun. Are you guys having fun? No, this is their turn four and they're dead. <sighs> Evolving wilds. Don't do it. I feel like Ritual of Soot is still fine here again. I'm gonna take out all the Croxes here because I just don't think they're as I just don't think they're good enough to. I feel like they make your hands too inconsistent. And either gist. We're at 61. What else can we remove? One finale seems... Oh, actually, we'll take out the fastest Oracle. I don't think we're going to be milling ourselves here. I think Oracle's better than finale there, actually. Because you want cheap spells. Your mother's a cheap spell. Dang. Got him. That's cold, man. What, your drink? Yeah. That's good, man. That's a sign of a good thermos. Wasn't Ikoria supposed to be a commander set, man? Who knows? Who knows what Wizards does? What they does? God, every game is this game. Every game. Oh, oh, oh. This, this owl is actually surprisingly annoying. I hate to say it, but... Oh, oh, oh. Like, you just broke my brain about bringing in Oracle just as a cheap spell. I never thought of it like that. Yeah, I mean, in this matchup, you just need blockers. It's just a 1-3 for 2, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, my issue is that I don't like the... Um, like the likelihood of having double blue that early. That's true. As you can see, it's been... One week since you looked at me. <laughs> <laughs> like that one, huh? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Man, that was as good as Moon Detective. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude. That was fantastic. There's only one play. They got an island here? What is even happening with this island? I'm gonna essence scatter your... Yeah, sure. No, no one cares. Toss my head to the side and I'm angry. Enter it tapped. 
Oh my god, dude. It's been, uh, one week since you like that. <laughs> oh, they're playing that card. Uh, what is that? Oh, Robber the Rich? What does that card do? It steals my cards. Hmm. Interesting. Five cards in the graveyard. I think you mean six cards in the graveyard. Let me get an island here. My only... Oh. Wait, why did it come into play? Did they concede before the island even untapped? Because that's pretty funny. Are they conceding? Because I was just going to play Euro, which is a 6-6. Six, six. That gains me three life, and then every the time island. I gain three life, and etc. etc. You know what? Maybe I do put this wizard in here. Maybe you're right. This feels better than a fourth. Like, you're not going to... It's too expensive, you know what I mean? It's been one week since you looked at me, Michael. <laughs> Uh, hmm, this is an interesting hand. Well, we can... It is an interest. That's fine. Oof, would not have kept that. Really? We got four scries, man. Yeah, it was real slow. So are you, but I still, like, I don't think you should determine the value of no, something based draw. on how quick they are. Probably keep it, because it's a two-drop. It's a 1-3-2. It's, it's a 1-3-2? One one two. Two? God damn, I knew you were going to say it. <laughs> that's a, wow, that's a lot of stats. You're paying to life. Yeah, I, wanna, I wanna get Lazavi out there. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't wanna draw that. Wow, that was crazy. Wow, that's insane. <clears throat> Yesterday, you forgiven me, but it's been two weeks to me that I'm sorry. Oh, me now, I don't bring, I don't stop thing. I mean, look at that dark woman. If you think about a minute when you're mad, you don't smile when you feel bad. I'm the kind of guy who laughs at a funeral. Oh, you can't understand what I mean, but you too well. Yeah, I think that's fine. We can play that and Tyrant Scorn, their guy, next turn. Yeah, I keep it. Does this return anything? Mm, nothing exciting yet. Oh, but we're, mill we're milling, so but, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna you know what? It's two life. Time keeps on milling, milling, oh. milling into the future. Oh, wow. Wow. I mean, my issue is that I don't like the... Um, like the likelihood of having double blue that early. That's true. As you can see, it's been... Long weeks since you looked at me. <laughs> <laughs> is Mike's mic low? Yeah, it seems like it's low. Or you're just not talking close enough? Maybe. It'll still be two weeks. Until you say you're sorry, Michael. Oh, Ritual of Soot went in the garbage can, huh? Well, I'm definitely going to pay two here, because I'd rather pay two and kill it than... Take four. Right. Should you just kill it now? Probably, yeah. Never know if they got any tricks. I know, I hate tricks. Even though they're for kids. Oh, fuck my life. They had a trick. It's a real good one. It was a good trick. Funny joke. Yep. Hold me now, don't let me think. Let me get something. Look at that, I'll man. Oof. Should only play, I guess. What can I do? Gonna have to sign a waiver. Wow, that was not ideal. Yeah, you can bounce something. I'm gonna help it if I think you're funny when you're mad. Try not to smile, that my feels bad. Mike's the kind of guy who laughs at a funeral. You can't understand what I mean, but you soon will. Gust is alright, I guess. Put you on the tippity top or the bippity bottom. Well, we 
you're at five. No. Don't like that. Where's that ritual slip, man? It's right here in the graveyard. <clears throat> oh boy. We are having a having a moment here, my dudes. Oh, that's interesting. Need a blue. Island one time. Oh, we did it. One, two, three, uh, four, five, sure. Oh man, don't call it a comeback. Ooh, got him again. Well, they got to draw something. I don't know if that's it. Oh wow, you're coming at me, bro. Fascinating. Uh, yeah, all right. I mean, the pump plan's a pump plan. We can't really do anything about it. Oh, because of the, yeah, 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 whatever. <coughs> Actually, we can just play more. We can't. We know we can't. All our lands are attached to. One, two, three, four, four. We only have six mana. Ugh, that's rough. Oh, yeah. The land's just going to kill us then. Wow. I felt like we were in real good shape, too. That's sad. Yeah. See, the red's actually. It's yeah, not. Take exactly six. You need to take more than six. Because <laughs> this pumps, pumps all their guys. Oh, all their guys. I thought it was just one. You thought this land only pumped one guy plus one yeah. plus oh? Wow. That seems terrible. Yeah. <coughs> Can't lose now. Yeah, the red deck seems rough. I didn't mean to click that. I guess it doesn't really matter. Cool. Yeah, the lands are actually hard to notice. Like, if you look at the lands, you're just like, oh, I didn't even notice you had that land because it's extremely tiny and all the way in the back. I wonder if we should have not blocked the one dude. Because I'm dying gives him too many creatures. What are you saying right now? If you didn't block the axe guy, an axe guy. If I didn't block him? Yeah. What happens then? Well, then you won't get all those tokens. Like, if you let them live and block differently. If I kill any of his other creatures, he gets tokens. Oh, it's any creature. Yeah. Why, why would it be him? Oh, that was only when he died. But he didn't even die. He did? No, he was literally attacking me the next turn. Wait, what? I'm so confused. Did he not die? Did it act? Was it next? I'm sure he died. Hmm. Yeah, an axe triggers on any creature, but I, I, for some reason, I thought the, uh, for some reason, I thought he was a knight, and the fervent Cathar gave him first strike. Maybe. But I mean, like killing him or killing another creature doesn't matter because both of the Bone Crusher Giants are giving it two creatures anyway, so that's not really a. Maybe you should skew your deck towards. On a red in the sideboard? I just don't think the Croxes are good. I think they're holding us back. And I want to cut the mountain. And I want to cut the Croxes. And as long as you're not okay, as long as you're alright with that, I think we I think we could try that. What's his replacement? Well, Lazav is trying to... Like... Hmm. Because, I mean, we're... Like, I think we already have, like... another Massacre Girl. Like, the only decks we've played against are decks that were Massacre Girls are actually really good. 
Plus, like, I think as long as we're getting cards in the graveyard for, for Euro, like, I think it's fine. Uh, what else? We got four overgrown, two watery. I think we want more watery. And we get one more slot. Um, it might just be Tyrant Scorn. Which one's that? You kind of want another big thing to get out of the graveyard, though, right? But <laughs> since I brought in Thirst, I was like, that is the solution. You want what? Is there any good other good value, guys? To get I mean, we have Massacre Girl. Um, doesn't enter the battlefield <laughs> trigger, though. <laughs> what if we traded Croxa for, like, Dracu Seth? Dracula. Oh uh, no, it's like seven mana. It's just not. It wouldn't. It's not realistic. What does it do? It's the one where it attacks. You deal four damage to one thing and three damage to two other things. Hmm. Oh, uh, I don't think Finale has anything to do with with Croxa. So I really don't think that's true. I don't think you ever want a Finale for a Croxa because you literally just it just dies. It, you're just getting one trigger for four mana. I think you should play something else that's good with. There's something else though. There's nothing like there's like the the whole point of the Titans is that they're two and, and they they cost two and three mana, <laughs> like they have converted mana cost of two and, and three. Like we won the we won the first match we played with with three X finale of devastations for ten plus. Is there any other Titans? and not once did Crocs have anything to do with it? Is no, there's just the two. Hmm. Maybe just play one. One what? One Crocs. What does that do, though? I mean, it's good with Zav. What up, Noble Phoenix? And you can still play the one mountain. I think that's fine. Oh, wait. What? No, the, the mountain sucks. I think the mountain sucks. What's that snake dude? Can I search for 4-4? Four, four? No. Wow, that's really weird. Lem, 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 lem. Lamb Pat Lampia. What's the snake? Somebody tell me the snake. I'll find it. I don't need your help. Talking about the five mana one? Graveyard Lamia. When it enters the battlefield, search library for a card, put it in your graveyard, then shuffle your library. Spells you cast from your graveyard cost one less. The problem with that is that Euro doesn't actually uh Yeah, because it's game. It's game never gonna yeah. cost one less. It does have lifelink. It's kind of something you want. Right, but a 4-4 four, 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 four lifelink for 5 is not really the best. Uh, I'd rather play this 4-5 lifelink for 5 that when it dies, you can return uh, a creature with converted mana cost 3 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Which that could be like Euro or Lazav. Actually, Cavalier of Night seems great, especially because we can finale for it. Yeah, one of. It seems good. Trouble black, but I think that's fine. That seems real good, actually. I like that a lot. We could play one Dream Trawler just to finale for it. Oh, we can Lazav into a Dream Trawler <laughs> for six. Whenever enters battlefield or deals combat damage, draw a card and discard a card. I wonder if Tomebound Lich is just better than, like, Glow Spore Shaman. Yeah, but three instead of two is very relevant. Right, but it's just a better card. Like, Death Touch and Lifelink is really good. Um, it has a bigger butt. Mm -hmm. Plus, like, you're looting. You're not just, like, milling three. You're just... You're putting one in, but, like, you're... I don't know. The Green Cavalier does also mill, but I'm... For some reason, I'm more reluctant for Triple Green. The deck is heavier black-based. Now I have stupid bare naked lady stuck in my head. <laughs> you can search for graveyard and see if there's anything cool. Let's see if there's anything cool when you search for graveyard. Hold me now on your hood wink because I'm like dink and you looking at Aquaman. Nailed it. Mystic Sanctuary as a one of might be interesting. You just put a finale on top. Meh. Yeah. Mike doesn't like it. One of Narcomiba. 
Value. Just, just play with four of Mark Amoebas, bro. <clears throat> I think the Thassa's Oracle is ambitious. Um, I don't. I just don't it's think. Kind of a value card, though. I think it's fine. Really? Yeah. You don't draw any cards, right? You just you just scry. Right. You get big scry. Who cares? It's never going to be that big, though. You can cut it. See if I care. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I will. I just think it's doing anything. Like we're not Maybe like putting your sideboard for like control matchups where it's going to be like a long grind game. It's going to be a long grindy game. This one seems even better. Well, three blue is rough. Yeah, that's true. They got to start printing cards to say win the game on them, man. <laughs> they never will. <clears throat> the magic mirror. Yes. Magic mirror? Mm -hmm. What? I'm just naming the card, man. Calm down. Was I getting worked up? Yeah. Show me that smile again, Michael. Because we still have binding to mill, we'd still have thirst. We have three thirsts. We still have four. We went up to four Meyer Tritons. Like because the last, like the lowest amount of cards we've had in our deck was like fourteen, and even then, like we're not winning with the Thassa's Oracle, right? But we still have for turn two. We still have three bindings. Uh, two Tyrant Scorn, four Tritons. And three Shamans. Well, we we're going to take those out. So we, we don't count the cards that we're taking out. <clears throat> Replace them with the uh, three mana one? Yes, Michael. That guy mills you too, right? No, oh, Michael. He draws and discards. Oh, God, I can't. I can't, guys. Milling three seems super relevant, but I don't know. Where's their hand? Yeah, but if you once you play the card and then attack with it at least once, like you're milling two and drawing, like you're just drawing, you're just fixing your hand. Three mana. Uh huh. Attacking with a one three seems ambitious. Why? Because like, death touch and lifelink. Right, but in the matchups where it's relevant, like you're only gonna ever block with it, right? Okay, but then I'm blocking with it. Where like, what am I doing with this? You're blocking with it. Like three cards versus like, let's say you only get to use it once. Like, oh, I do like Atrus a lot. If you only use it once, it's not that valuable. Milling one card basically. Wow. Maybe we could try it out. Wow. What about two? <clears throat> I'm just trying to see if there's any other good cards for this. What about... No, Timurit's not great because like we don't have enchantment. Oh, it's actually a creature or an enchantment. That's interesting. How many creatures do we have? 23, huh? I wonder if Timurit calls that it's better than Binding of the Titans. Each player puts the top three. Put the top three. Exile a creature or enchantment. Make it 2-2. Two, two. And what's the last ability? Uh, you gain X life and scry where X is the number of zombies you control. I wonder if that's better than binding. Turning a creature is pretty good, though. Okay, but making two zombies for, like... What like what creature are you going to return? Glowspore Shaman? Like, most of the time, like, you're returning, like... Murderous Rider's never in your graveyard because it goes to the bottom. Euro is not something you want to return because you just want to cast them from the graveyard. So, like, the only creatures we're really returning were, like, Lazav... Glowspore Shaman or Meyer Triton. Okay. Whereas, like, making two two twos could be more relevant. Like, this is just two creatures. The only downside is you're, again, upping your mana cost from two to three. But then I'd be more inclined to actually keep this in the deck because then, like, we play this on two and it fills our graveyard for it, so we have more things to exile. Okay. Let's try it out. I don't know. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to figure out the best option here. Show me Mike B again. Show me my Mike B. Not with another Michael B all day. Alright, let's put one masker on the sideboard. I'll take out one Thassa's Oracle. Got him again. You still gonna play the one in the main? I don't know actually. I don't love it. Yeah, I'd consider cutting it. Uh, <clears throat> talking now. Nope, nope. Why are you showing me red cards? 
We're out of this. We're out of the red game. I haven't been in the red game for a long time, guys. That's true. It's very true. It's most of my life. All right, let's put in some Timur. We'll put in one Timur as a placeholder. Thassa blinks a lot. Thassa herself? Yeah, we don't really have creatures we care about blinking, though. They ain't that great. All right, now we're in the green. You like the greens? I like what the does greens. this guy do? Sack a land, search over for a land, put on the back. Yeah, all right, don't care about that. Look at all these return to nature. Man, naturalized is looking real dumb. They're just printing these in every set. Like the last three sets have had this War of the Spark, Throne of Veldrain, and Theros. They're all basically the same card. Naturalized. It is, it's literally the same card. Yes, return to nature is literally the same card. Pretty much. <laughs> they look a little different and they're worded differently, but. Same card. It's the same card. But yeah, it's, it's the same card. What about one pulse? Pulse seems interesting. Like, being able to just return a, a Euro and play it on the same turn for, and gain, like, nine life seems nuts. Or, like, returning one of these. I think that would be a sideboard card. Why would you think that? I cannot believe you've done this. I'm going to go down to two of these because I do like being able to, like, if you mill while you're one of, of these, like, you get it back with the the binding, which is not bad. I think that's a sideboard card. I think you should actually consider it for sideboard. Why? Because... Your bread matchup is terrible. My bread matchup? Yeah. My bread? Mm-hmm. This guy's lifelink. As a one of at five mana. You're gonna be dead, son. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. Maybe do a two two split. Play two liches, two shamans. That's what I was thinking actually. Oh, then we can take that since we're clawed. Oh, let's try it like this. Let's see if this is... All right, we put two Timurets in. We took out one Binding, one Glowspore Shaman, one Thassa's Oracle. We put two Tomebound Liches in. Let's see Let's see if this makes a... Makes a, makes a deck. All right, we're doing it. Are you ready to do it? Michael, are you ready? Yes. Okay, you don't have to be like this. Okay, it's, it's been one week, Michael. Since what? Since you cocked your head to the side and said I'm angry. <laughs> Two scry boys? Snap keep. What's a scry boy? Oh, these guys? Yeah. Right, right. Uh, there's a window right in front of me. Window. Oh, we're just wanna one tap land so I can play this guy on turn three. Oh wow, they didn't play anything. Untapped land, that's not what we're looking for. Put it in the bottom of Here comes a Cranko. Oh boy. That's the bad Cranko. Is there a bad Cranko, Michael? Yes. You're looking right at it. Um, yeah, I'll put Lich in the graveyard. I like how it's like next, and I'm like, I can't see my hand right now, so... Oh my god, I've like scried four things to the bottom. <coughs> Whenever it attacks, put a one with counter out, then create a number of goblins equal to... I mean, they're all going to die with Massacre Girl, ideally, so... Who made the red mic red? Did Mike just cough? Yeah. He got the coronavirus. <laughs> I don't. Oh, wow. Oh, that's uh, pretty good. Oh. I want to vomit right now. Wait. He doesn't make that. Oh, he does. Oh, no. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you shouldn't talk smack about Cranko. Oh, Jesus. So many aggro decks, man. 
Yeah, we faced three aggro decks. Yeah, that's a Toyota. Oh. I need a land. Daddy needs a land. Daddy needs an untapped land. What do you need a land for? So I can play Massacre Girl and, and not die? Right. What do you need a land for, man? I don't know, Michael. I have another pump spell. I don't think they do. I think we're just gonna take one, two, three, four, five, six. One. Death, in fact. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine. Real how did we die there? Because he gets a counter. Yeah, but we negative four? What the hell were we at? I don't remember, man. He was just saying. <laughs> well, I thought you would be. You thought wrong. Negative two. Thank you, Brett. Thank you. You were at 16, right? Like, didn't they have... Oh, they had six... Go Fucking goddamn arena. I hate arena. I really do. Because you couldn't really tell how many... It there. looked like there were four goblins. So I was like, oh, two, four, six, eight, then the three from Cranko. So 11. Where about you go to five? Big deal. But actually, there were eight goblins or six or whatever. I don't even know. There's a lot of goblins. It represents as four, but it says a seven on there, I guess, so... Cool. Definitely put in the Aether Gust here. Michael? I think all, all the finales. I don't think we're finaleing here. Yeah, I can see that. Can you see it? Can, can you, you see it? You're cutting a two drop. Yeah, because it's a three one. It doesn't really do much against their one one goblins. I don't really want to trade a three one for a one one. They're usually two ones with Cranko, so. Okay. Well, Cranko doesn't make them two ones. The Domri does, so. Oh, is that what it was? He doesn't even know what's going on. I don't know what red cards do, man. He's trying to give me advice, but he doesn't even know what he's talking about. I don't know about no red cards. I'm, I'm aware. Oh, I'm aware. Keep. Snap and keep. Oh, Borgo Razor. Yeah, it's just weird that you represent... You have four goblins, like, stacked on top of each other. But it's not four. It's seven. So it's like, why even, like, why stack any? Why not just have one with a seven on it or something? Like, it's just weird. Watch, they're going to fight. Where do you see my mates? Oh, they are going to fight? Wow, they're both dying? That's cool. Oh, who made the red man red is really what I'm what I'm wondering. My dad. Your dad didn't do that, Michael. He did. Your dad didn't do anything but leave. Arena counts in one, two, three, many. Yeah, that's basically how it works. Oh, look at that. Look, these are so... I'm so jealous of these every time I see them. I hate it. Who made the mic be red? Uh, kill it. Do we have anything good? A Meyer Triton. Um, no, I'll keep that. We're gonna be able to mill. Four Lazov. That's pretty good. He did one more thing. Never came back. Dang. God damn. Is that Mr. Hanky? Mr. Handy? What's that character? What's that character's name, man? The turd? Yeah. <laughs> it's Mr. Hanky. The turd? Yeah, Michael. The turd. What's the turd's name? Ooh, -wee, boys. All right. So, can we do anything about that? Not really. Yeah, we can get rid of one of these guys. Make a zombie boy. He was a zombie boy. He said, see you later, boy. This is zombies every day. Mr. Hanky. God, South Park's a weird show, man.
I don't know why it exists. How's it been on so long? It's been on like my whole life. It has been on like your whole life. That's insane. And those kids are still in in what high school, middle school? I think they're in like elementary school. school? One, something like that. I don't know. They don't even know. Mike didn't go to school, so he can't really relate to either <laughs> wow. one of them. So, hey man, I got my high school diploma, Mitch. Are you bragging about it? Yeah. Wow. I almost got an associate's. Wow. Maybe one day you get your doctorate. Nope. <laughs> Not doing that. One day. No, I'm good. Oh, one day. How long has Bart Simpson been in fourth grade? 30 plus years. He's old. I hope they attack with this guy. It's got enough haste, right? No, they gave it plus one, plus one, right? What are you doing right now? Didn't you use this? Didn't you use this to make a mana? Oh, God. I'm getting frustrated. All right. Okay, okay. Uh, let's get rid of binding, because we're not going to ever get that back. Okay. Okay, we got a Euro here. Swamp is... Is really, man. This is sad because we can't play Euro because the 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 one swamp. But we can't play. Uh, we can't actually activate this and get the Euro because of the temple. So it's like our hand is like just terrible. I'm just keeping that on top. I guess we're just gonna no attacks here. And end the turn. And if you want to actually fight this guy again, we can get uh, Meyer Triton this time. Yeah, auto-pay. I only have two mana. Auto-pay that for sure. Because I don't know what the hell. <laughs> Be Brett, Brett, that's beautiful. God, we're at seven. It's unbelievable. Basically dead. <clears throat> Basically dead. They only have one card in hand. Actually, I think this Euro might be able to do the deed. Oh, you're fighting? Fascinating. Well, buddy, let me tell you. Um, I'm going to bottom that. We have so much gas going on right now, I don't really foresee a time where I'm like, Hey, one, two, three, four. Uh, I don't want to actually get rid of those now because those are good for. Give me that life. Give me that card. Give me that land. Enter it tapped. I feel like Euro is just like such a win the game card. I'm not going to attack kinda because like if the they have... It's kind of like the Titans. <clears throat> I remember the Titans. Do you remember the Titans? Yeah. I love the unsanctioned land in isolation, but with those lands now, I wish I could template all my non-basics. Like, Oh, you mean like just like... Put the... It looks like an, air an airline signature where it's like... Fly the swamp skies. <laughs> it looks like, it the, kinda, it looks yeah. like the Southwest I logo. I got a turtle's butt in the air. They see me floating. They hating. Who's hating, Michael? I don't know. Nobody hates turtles, right? <laughs> Monsters. There's people that eat them, which is even more ridiculous. I don't know if you hate it just because you eat it. That doesn't even make any sense. Do you hate cows because you eat beef? No, I'm just saying, like, 
Eating turtles is ridiculous. Why? Because it's weird. Why is that weird? Because they're reptiles. Okay. I guess people eat gators, too. <clears throat> people eat anything, man. It's true. They're crazy. You're crazy. Dang. Shredder does hate turtles. Dang. It's true. Tonight we dine on turtle soup. That's like, well, that's weird because like that takes a lot of preparation. Like, seems like you keep really no black though. I think it's still good, but I hit I hit the keep. Because he's intolerant, is that why Mike hates turtles? Oh, look at that. Scry it up. <sighs> you can't keep him in. Yes, I can. Oh my god, you're insane. It's so good. You have no black mana. I'll get it. <clears throat> well, you better. Look, there's a black mana. Nope, definitely not. They see me rolling, Michael B, living in the garbage can, it's Michael B. Alright, so if they play Triceratops or Questing Beast, it's pretty rough. <coughs> Don't do it. Oh god, they did it. <laughs> oh god, they did it. It's Bobby Biscuits. It's his name. I'm just gonna put this on top of your library right now. So you don't know. Oh, I guess you can put it on bomb. Man, Pro Blue is a hell of a drug. It's pretty good. So ideally, we're gonna be able to get Overgrown Tomb back, and then we can play Meyer Triton next turn to block this guy. That's if nothing goes Either that wrong. Or die. Gruel or die, Michael. Um. Actually, I have Water Grave now. Do you want Double Mire Triton? I don't know. Well, you want Double Black, right? Yeah, I do want Double Black. They try to catch me riding dirty sometimes. It's messed up. It's like your land is free. It does feel like that, yeah. God, so many Mire Tritons in the graveyard. But we still have six cards, so we have no problem if we draw like a Euro. What are you gonna do? Bone you gonna you gonna stomp this guy? Cool. Come and destroy God, if there was like another creature out. That Oh, oh! No, that doesn't do it. Shit. It's a lot of damage. You just sit him, right? That doesn't kill this. It doesn't? No, it's three or less. Oh, power. I thought it was converted mana cost. Even This doesn't have power three or less either. <laughs> it is converted mana cost. This costs four. What are you talking about? Oh. Now, this doesn't three. have power or, or casting cost of three or less. Well then, I think you're riggedy riggedy dead. You can kill that, you can kill that, but you can't kill that. Still gotta do what you gotta do. One more creature, this would have died too. I mean they can't fight. We can't we can block. They can play Bone Crusher, that doesn't do anything. Lazav can copy a Meyer Triton next turn, which does give us... Can you give a Trample? Is that one of the abilities? Yeah, so we'll take one. No, it's two. So you go to one. It's a yikes for me, dog. I'm not dead yet. Oh, main phase that guy, huh? 
Oh, you're fighting with this and then just killing us? Yeah, I don't know why that took you so long. That was... Why, like, why take 20 minutes to do that? <laughs> like, I mean, <laughs> you have one card in hand. You just play it and then kill my guy. What? I don't understand. It was a really in-depth play, man. Oh, boy. It's just frustrating. All right. Um, the aggro decks seem to be a problem. Yeah, the aggro decks are rough, man. Being careful not to misclick. All you have to do is drag the card into play, and then... It's weird, because four Mire Triton, two Tome Bound Liches, like, that's six Death Touch creatures, plus two Tyrant Scorn. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I don't know. Like, I feel like Massacre Girl is pretty straightforward. I kind of want more Scorn. I also feel like we want more untapped lands. Than... I think you can cut one finale. I don't think you need four. That's what I was going to do. Yeah. <clears throat> I was also tempted to cut one Temple of Deceit for like one more land that comes into play untapped. Probably one more Breeding Pool. Because I think the, the lands coming into play untapped are kind of hurting us a little bit. Y'all got any of them, uh, what was the enchantment? He's drunk as hell. From, uh, they gave all your creatures life linking, you can get a guy back from the yard. They looked away for a second and Arena has no log. What do you mean? Are you saying about enchantment getting back guys from the yard? Yeah. It gives all your guys life link. Are you drunk? Whip of Erebos. That, where's that at? I think it's an older format, man. Oh, dang. It's too bad. Oh, because they looked away for a second. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like, they looked away and they're like, I don't know what happened. Hold on, let me figure it out. <laughs> I guess. We're playing old Patola. Um, yeah, this seems good. Look, we got things we can play. Patola, Patola. Bring the raviola. Hmm. What's a raviola? You know what it is. I don't. I'd like you to tell me. You know exactly what it is. I don't, so I'd appreciate you telling me. Tell me what a raviola is. It's made from Italian. A raviola is made from Italian. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Woo! Can you imagine? Well, let's put a euro in the graveyard so then Lazav can copy it on turn three. That would be the, the most gas shit you could do, I think. That'd be pretty good. I think you might win. It wasn't it. A non aggro deck. <laughs> oh, they're gonna let me do it again. Me later. Hey, here we go. I hate Tefri so much. All of them are just that one. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever had a Tefri that you played against and you were like, this is actually a really fun card and, and it's fair and I'm really enjoying my time? Yeah, I didn't think so. No. Let's try this. Let's try this. Okay, that's not what we, that's not the legendary creature we wanted. <coughs> so this is just the fire stack. Mutual is the Ayatollah of Raviola. Well said. I'd rather play against a Teferi than an Oko. Uh, cool, I guess. Can I, I just play against one neither? miserable experience for a slightly less miserable experience? That's literally what it comes down to, yeah. Got him. Basically dead. For a moment, I thought Mike was talking about a musical instrument because viola is a Brazilian ten-string guitar. Wait. Well, 
All right, we're going to get rid of Finale. Are there two instruments called the viola? Because... Michael, there's a... What's wrong with you? String instrument. Let's play an orchestra called the viola. I used to play one, so... No, he didn't. I did. He has these fever dreams sometimes where he thinks he was like <laughs> I a, did! an accomplished musician. I didn't say I was an accomplished musician. I just said I played it. I know, it man. In, it was just a No, I know, man. It's really cool. I believe in you. <laughs> you just got to support him, you know? You just got to make him feel like he's... All right, that's one spell. Play your Cavalier. There you go. Congratulations. Ah. Raviola, Raviola. Send the Ayatollah on over. It's terrible. Come on. I've got it. I've got it. By Jove, I think he's got it. Here I go, killing again. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, there you go. Do, do what you gotta do. Can we put Phyrexian Dreadnought in the deck and then I can turn this guy into a 12 12 for one? <coughs> I think that would be good. Seems good. They see me rolling. They hate Hey, look, he's got another one. When do they not? I know. A responsibility. Where are we? Are we in their main phase? Interesting. Enough. Enough. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, let's choose this guy and your Cavalier. All right. What's in the trash can? Trash. See, I, it's funny because now I'm in a situation where, like, those off, like, if we had more Croxes in the graveyard, that'd be great. But then, like, you don't want them in your hand. It's a real awkward tension. Maybe it's worth it to play them. I don't know. Hmm. Oh yeah, you can go. See, it's always like, I hate that this takes up your time, like, because I can't see my hand or my deck. It's like a real, like, when it's up here, it's kind of fine, but, like, Imperious Great Worm is still, like, a million mana, right? I guess we'll end the turn here. Ten? Oh god, I was hoping it was like seven or eight. I don't think Convoke is gonna do what you think it does in this deck though. Yeah, not not feeling it right now, unfortunately. This is rough. I've got time. I never really said anyone outside of commander should play that monstrosity, just that it exists. Oh boy. Um Masquerade doesn't kill anything here. We don't have another creature yet. We can actually play this, play Lazav, and then sack it. Oh, what is the biggest creature in standard? Oh, okay. Never mind. That makes much more sense.
Teferi number three. Mask girls are rough right now. Uh, yeah, it's bad matches where they're not one of. Yeah, <clears throat> but it's just a one of, so it's like it's not super bad. But like, where are the euros right now? Like, we're also not drawing that well. Like, it's funny because like since we made the changes, like we just haven't been drawing that well. But taking out like Thassa's Oracle and Croxes, like don't really like they're not cards we want to be drawing here. Oh, we're at two? Yeah, let's go to the next game. Okay, so Mystical Dispute. Full set. Lich can come out. Uh, take out one Lazav, one Meyer Triton, one Finale, two Finale. Actually, I'll take out all the Finales. I don't think really? <laughs> they don't have counter spells, right? No, but like, I mean, we have to get to like 10,000 mana. I might bring him back in. Like, I'll, all right, I'll put two in. How's that? Uh, I think this is actually fine. They have green or white stuff. I mean, like, it kills Teferi and like. It kills Teferi, that's probably worth it on. Dream Trawler, but I don't really care about Dream Trawler. The big bird. Oh, Tyrant Scorn seems terrible here. Um, bring that back. Bring back the other Myra Triton, and we'll bring one Noxious Grass, maybe. Yeah, I think one Noxious is fine. I mean, it barely hits Dream Trawler is the problem. Like they just discard a card. Joe, thank you so much for uh, for the opportunity to play the deck, man. I've actually been. I mean, like despite our record so far, it's been pretty fun. And I like the idea. Good luck in your paper draft, buddy. Um, yeah, this seems fine. We can get a island with our fabled passage. Oh, cool. My only problem with these lands so far is that the island and the swamp look very, very similar when you're just, like, trying to find them. They just have really strong blue tints and very similar, like, big things in the center of their art. You doing all right, man? Yeah. You in a coma? Could be. Will you be? Maybe. Can you Can you be? Possible. I do like a good Meyer Triton here. Dang it. Temple of Milady. Okay. Temple of Shut Your Mouth. Excuse me? Uh... Mike B says what? What? Got him. Well, you just call me my name. I didn't call you anything, man. What are you talking about? Michael's got a Justice League shirt on today. I don't even know. I'll probably keep it. Got them. They're basically dead. And they're already at 15. I know, man. They're dead. I know. That's what I'm saying. 
They're gonna play fires. I'm gonna be like, nah, bish. Deafening Clarion. Oh my god, are you gonna mystical dispute this? <clears throat> I hate this card so much. Cool, one mana mana leak. Alright, there's enough lands here. God, we even cut a land and we're still getting, like, flooded. <whistles> Sucks to be you. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. There you go. I oh, know. How do they have so many more cards? I don't know. Well, we have one more land than they do. I would trade. Ugh, God, I hate him so much. Oh, they're going to bounce their own Omen. That's so good. What an actual shitlord. Because it's a Michael B. Living in the garbage can every day. You got it. Michael B. 2. The second one? Yeah, that's right. The sequel. You ever seen the sequel? Michael B. 2? No. Well, that's too bad. Oh, there's your boy. Do I want one of these? One, two, three, four. I kind of do. Let's take water grave. Why do they have six six cards in hand? I'm like so confused. Here we go. Oh boy. That's a treat. As the king and commander. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Ding, 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 ding. Good to talk. Thank you. It is songs day, my dude. It's a murderous rider. It is. I know. They call it Murderous Tuesday. It is Wednesday, my dudes. No, it is Thursday. That was cool. You see how they did it? They made my guy kill himself. They made my boy kill himself, Michael. That's my boy. All right, let's do it again, I guess. Do I not have enough? Oh, shoot. I guess I got to call the dead first. Get on the hotline. We need some things to kill them birds. Uh, What is this? Exile a creature or enchantment. Deal. I need a thing to kill that bird. Two, three, four, five. Submit them all. Oh, that was not good, but I don't care. 
You're just trying to fill up your graveyard. I am. I'm just trying to fill up my graveyard. It's a murderous rider. Man, why is there no sunnies here? Why is there no barbecue of any kind here? That's any good. Yeah, I should have definitely... I, I should have kept this up and had one blue, and then I would have been able to deal with this guy. Now it's going to be really... It's a hard road. That's not going to do it. It would have been a seven, but I think the better play was to play the land first, keep up a single blue if we had the option to do so. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, potentially. Oh, Murder Shrider's nice here. One, two, three, so we can discard Triton, Triton. So we're gonna take nine. I guess we're just hoping we don't have Cavalier of Flame. This is also a zombie, so it works with Timurat. Oh yeah. So we gain three next turn. Game is relatively close. We just have to hope they don't have this exact card that they never fucking don't have. Cool. <sighs> never don't have it, I guess. Either way. What can you do? Um, yeah, not sure what I think about the deck. Um, I feel like we're just trying to be too cute with the Lazavs, and it forces us to play things that are just subpar like Low Spore Shaman or Meyer Triton, which just don't have that great of an impact in the late game. I mean Croxa would be good, but again, like you're just you're hoping to either have it in your hand and discard it, or you're hoping it goes to the graveyard so you can like copy it with Lazav. Maybe that's good enough? What? Mm -hmm. Like, just have it in there for graveyard shenanigans? I definitely don't think it is. Like, what? Like you're just cutting four cards. But, I mean, I don't know. What What can you do? Mediocre Magic Man, thank you so much for the opportunity. I really appreciate it. If you guys want to have me take a look at your own decks for a few hours and uh, play them and tweak them and uh, give them my thoughts, definitely check out my Twitch profile or the YouTube description down below. And uh, we can we can chat about that if you'd like. Also, check out manatraders.com. It's a great subscription service you can use for Pioneer or Modern or Standard. If you want to borrow cards on Magic Online, you'll get 20% off the first three months uh, with the link and promo code down below. Cool stuff, Inc. every Wednesday. And patreon.com slash franklinboard. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. And I'll see you nerds next time.